Hey there, kids, and any grown-ups who might be watching this. I want to start things off by asking you a question. Do you think that human beings can honor God when we build massive, enormous, awe-inspiring things, things that are the biggest examples of whatever they are that have ever been built? Well, I'll tell you one guy who sure thought so. That guy was Solomon, and I'm going to tell you the story of him building the temple. So now, uh, David was a great king for God's people, but David didn't get to build the temple himself. God told David that his son Solomon would be the one to build the temple. When Solomon became the king, he wanted to build the temple so God could live there. He wanted the temple to be the most amazing, dazzling building ever built. So Solomon decided he would build the temple out of beautiful and expensive materials. First, Solomon, stole, Solomon told his workers to, build, to dig large stones out of the ground. I don't want God to hear any loud building noises here, Solomon told his workers. You need to measure, cut, and shake the stones out in the hills before you bring them here. So the workers did what Solomon told them to do. Next, Solomon told his workers to make the roof and the floor out of a hard, sturdy wood, wood called cedar. Carve designs of flowers into the cedar wood and decorate the temple with the carvings, Solomon said. The nice smell and elegant designs will make God happy. So again, the workers did what Solomon told them to do. Now finally, Solomon made a room in the temple especially for God. The whole temple was for God, but Solomon went past that and made a special room especially for God. Cover this entire room in gold, he said. And once again, the workers did what Solomon told them to do. The room glowed and shimmered. Now when the temple was finished, Solomon put a special box called the Ark of the Covenant into this room of gold. The people who put God's Ten Commandments, not just any writing of the Ten Commandments, but the original tablets that it was written on, into the box. Wherever the Ark of the Covenant was, God was there too. Now, of course, you and I know that God is really everywhere all the time, right? But, you know, this is special. The people went to the temple every day to worship God, and the temple was the most impressive building ever built for God. And God was happy to live in the temple that Solomon built. Now, let me ask you something. Do you think human beings only glorify God by making massive, amazing, awe-inspiring things when we're making buildings especially for God? Or do other awe-inspiring examples of human ingenuity also glorify God? Now, let me take this conversation in a place that maybe you didn't expect because I want to talk about trains. If you're a train fan like me, you know that there's one thing that's on everybody's short list when it comes to the world's most awe-inspiring trains, the big boy. The big boy was one of the biggest steam locomotives ever made. And for a long, long time, you could only see them sitting still in museums. But two years ago, they finally finished fixing one of the big boys up so it could run on the rails again. Now, I want to share with you exactly what I experienced the first time I saw one of the big boys thundering along the tracks. Wow. Well, are steam locomotives covered in gold? Well, 
No, not usually. Do they smell nice like cedar? Well, that sort of depends on your point of view. Do human beings usually build trains to honor God? Well, no. Does the fact that we can build trains, that we have the ingenuity to construct such amazing things, does that honor God? Well, I'm going to leave that to you to talk about amongst yourselves and think about this week. And now I want to close with a prayer. Dear God, there are so many places where your presence lives. Thank you for being with us when we worship you in so many places. Help us remember that any place we worship you becomes a holy place, and that you are there even when we are not worshiping you. Amen.